Welcome back, my friends. Great Day is on the road this week featuring the Great Rivers and Roots region of Southwest Illinois. And the lifeblood of that region is the fourth longest river on the planet, the mighty Mississippi. It's an ecosystem, it's a playground, it's a highway delivering goods to the world. And there's a fascinating place in Alton, Illinois, where you can learn more about it and experience it for yourself. It's about three quarters of a mile across, very close to a mile long. This is a global highway. We're not used to thinking of it that way. There's enough concrete in the structure to build a road from here to Detroit. This massive modern marvel is the newest, largest, and most advanced of all the dams along the Mississippi River. But barges, hauling everything from corn to coal, need to navigate around these dams. That's where an innovative system of locks comes into play. They create an aquatic staircase to maintain navigation uh, year round. And that's what locks like this do, is get the vessels from the upper pool to the lower pool. Andy Schemp is with the Army Corps of Engineers. He's the operations manager here. What does the operations manager do? If everything is going right, Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be fooled. Andy is a busy guy. We got coal, uh, iron ore. On his long list of responsibilities is the operation and maintenance of the Melvin Price Locks and Dam here in Alton, along with three other major locks and dams along the mighty Mississippi. So the width of this lock channel is what? 110 foot. 110 foot, and the width of this barge altogether is? 105 foot. So he's got two and a half feet of wiggle room on each side. And he gets one shot. It's not like Walmart, where if you miss your parking spot, you back up and do it again. Wow. On average, boats are raised or lowered 12 to 15 feet inside this lock. It takes about uh, 30 or 35 minutes to get through. And we do about six or 7,000 lockages a year. The closure at this lock costs the economy about $3 million a day, an unscheduled closure. Eight stories below the observation deck is a 12,000 square foot museum. And Allison Rayner, the museum's director. So if you come to the National Great Rivers Museum, you're going to experience all the different aspects that come with large river systems. Time contracts here from geological eras down to single days. Visitors can learn how rivers form and what sorts of plants and animals live along and in the Mississippi. From ancient civilizations to modern day navigation, this museum covers it all. The fan favorite is definitely our lock and dam model that you can play with. So to get this water level up here, we would lower this contraption. Down. You can set the water levels to high, medium and low and tweak the gates of the different locks and dams to try and get a feel of how we manage the river. The museum is free and open to the public with tours offered three times a day. We'll have a tour guide walk them through the museum, uh, stop at some of the exhibits, explain some of what they're about to see before they go up top, and then we do go out back uh, and go on top of the structure 80 feet in the air. A fresh perspective of our region's lifeline at the Melvin Price Locks and Dam and the National Great Rivers Museum in Alton. This is the museum's 20th anniversary, and they will be announcing the date of a big celebration very, very soon. In the meantime, though, why not stop by the National Great Rivers Museum and the Melvin Price Locks and Dam tomorrow, right after you join Great Day for our live on location show at the Loading Dock in Grafton, Illinois. Everybody's invited. We'll give you breakfast, too. That's going to be provided by various bakeries and coffee shops starting at 8 in the morning, and then the live show kicks off at 9. We would absolutely love to see you out there. Laura's excited, I, I know. I am. Mm -hmm. Hey, anytime we go to Illinois, I get pumped. Yeah. Amen, sister. It's been a fun week. Yep.